All right, so we are at the Maxim Defense booth and I have a awesome gun here. I know on me it looks regular size, but this is actually really small. So this is the PDX, which is the personal defense uh, firearm <laughs> that they are offering. And what's really cool is that this is actually chambered in 762 by 39. You got that right. So we have an SBR right here, the five inch barrel, and it's in 762 by 39. So this is a round that has not been able to successfully be produced reliably reliably and this gun does it reliably so let's talk a little bit about what makes this gun so reliable and neat and let's go on the range and shoot it okay. yay this is fun <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Yay! <laughs> okay, can I have one now? <laughs> this is good. All right, so in shooting this gun, what is fascinating is this is a really powerful round, right? And <clears throat> so personally, when shooting the AR type platform, um, I'm used to shooting 226 uh, or 223556, which is a fairly anemic round, but you still have a lot of felt recoil. And so, even though this is a more powerful round, to be honest, um, it doesn't recoil much more than my regular AR, which is pretty impressive. And so how they do this is a very unique system in this firearm. So the biggest thing what they have is the hate break. So the hate break actually helps to uh, keep mitigate a lot of this recoil. It burns up a lot of the spent gas. And what's neat is that this system is interchangeable uh, with a suppressor. So you could actually take the hate break off. You could put a suppressor on it and you're not having to retune your gas system or make any adjustments. So it's like a direct replacement which is really really great um, and again and actually shooting it there's not a lot of felt recoil and that is something that you normally don't get with a gun this big so it's been fun and uh i think i'm gonna have to ask for some more ammo fun all right so this right here is their eight and a half inch barrel and this has got the suppressor on it so it was really cool seeing that so this is the cgs suppressor the helio system and again as i had mentioned earlier is that the hate break and the suppressors are actually interchangeable so this system did not have to be adjusted in order to uh, take on the suppressor versus taking on the hate break i will say in shooting this one for some reason and i'm assuming it's because the suppressor is a little bit more gassy i think that the hate break is really doing a good job when that's on and burning up all that extra gas making sure it's cycling the system well and it's not getting in your eyeballs so I did get a little bit of gas from this one but it still shot awesome all right so to take a closer look at the PDX let's go ahead and take this apart so the particular one that I have right here in my hands this is chambered in 556 and it has the pistol brace on it so you could get this in either the pistol base uh, with the pistol brace or the rifle stock depending on how you want to do it so the first thing that I'm gonna do right here is just extend the brace out and now what's interesting is that you don't take this apart like a regular AR. So notice that I went ahead and pushed out the pen in the front. So I'm not gonna hinge it up like I normally would. So I'm gonna push both pens right here and let's go ahead and spin it around. And so the whole thing is gonna come apart right here. So let's take a look at this. And this is where the magic really happens. So again, this particular firearm comes chambered in 5.56 and 7.62 by 39, which is really impressive. So I'm just taking this whole thing apart right here. All right, cool. So now since we have it disassembled, let's discuss the BCG. So the bulk carrier group right here, it actually has the buffer, the weighted buffer that actually will go into it. And what's interesting about that, do, 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 if I do it right. <laughs> is that this allows it to have a full stroke, which is what you're not normally gonna see in an SBR. So this is what makes it uh, very, very unique. So all I'm gonna do right here is put this back into the bolt carrier group and it will allow it to function a lot easier. 
put it together like a normal AR and we should be good to go. So while I put this back together, what I wanna to talk to you about is why it was designed. So this was actually designed by a tanker um, and he had to work in confined spaces. And so this gun is a true truck gun um, and it is really, really um, going to have in mind either law enforcement who per perhaps a resource officer that wants to keep it in his backpack. If you are a first responder and you're a driver uh, for, you know, again, you know, military or law enforcement, this is going to be the perfect gun for you because of the short length and also the powerful of rounds. So you have that 556 and the 762 by 39 option. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble this. I wasn't doing a very good job of multitasking, talking and putting it back together. So let's get this baby back. All right, and that's that. So this is the PDX, hopefully taken to a park, kind of explained it a little bit better for you, and make sure to check out Maxim Defense.